Good afternoon. I'm Belle, and welcome back to How to Train a Healthy Mind. So, in the previous episode, I spoke about the five mistakes that you want to avoid if you want to train a healthy mind. So, right now, today, this episode, I'm going to dive right in into the first mistake that I have experienced myself. Which is buried myself into watching TV series. So how does this relate to training a healthy mind? A lot of you might disagree with what I've said, but I'm just sharing what I've experienced. So after I get into it, you can agree to disagree or leave a comment for me to know what you think about. So watching TV series is also a form of meditation. So why do I say that? So when you watch TV series, you're letting your mind flow free towards whatever the movie scene is bringing you towards. So in my own experience, when I was experiencing my heartbreak, and as the same as all the humans are, run towards pleasure, and most importantly, we run away from pain. So. I was trying to avoid to think about the pain that I felt. So I running away from it by buried myself into watching TV series, so that it can take my mind off. But think about this way: since I've told you about watching TV series is also a form of meditation, and you're letting your mind being brought along, string along the movie scene. So what happens is when you watch a TV series or a movie. All the time, you develop a habit. So, habit makes you also break you. You become what you think about, but you also become what you do consistently. Those daily habits, some conscious, some unconscious, and if your life is enjoyable or miserable. And Warren Buffett once said that the chains of habit are too light to be felt, and then it's too heavy to be broken. So if you develop a habit to watch TV series, it's not that you develop a habit to meditate for your own good. It's to take your mind being string along with the movie scene. And if you think that this thing is gonna take your mind off, it's not true. Why do I say that? Let me ask you this. Let's just say if you are going through a pain situation in your life, maybe your heart was broken. Maybe you lost someone. Maybe you lose a job. You're just not trying to think about that, and you watch something, and then some of the movie scene you can relate to right away. The back of your mind, whatever your pain is, your mind tells you that, "Hey, I can relate to that," and then you're buried in your own thoughts again. So how? Why would you say that watching TV series brings your mind off? What is it? Because whenever something happened in that movie, you can right away relate to what happened to you as well, and then you are just struggling or drunk in your own thoughts. What about the movies we watch? All the shows on TV. The more I watch, the more I see. I need you to complete me. And yes, love is the answer. Love is the key. But if you can't love yourself, how could you ever love me? And the worst part is, let's just say that in the movie, it shows you the opposite of what you're exper- experiencing. Imagine you lost someone. You have your heart broken, and in that movie, it shows happily ever after. Or maybe a person is super successful, and at that point of time, the same pain that you are going through is gonna float back up again to your conscious and tells you that why can't I have that? Why don't I experience the same thing? And then you will start thinking that you are not good enough. So that's my point of view of if you really want to train a healthy mind, you shouldn't bury it yourself in TV series. Because what I experience is the same. When I was trying to take my mind off, when I watch, buried myself into TV series days after days, but it didn't help me at all to bounce me back up. What it did was only drowning me deeper and falling to 
deeper, deeper darkness. So you can disagree with me with this as one of the mistakes, but I'm sharing it as my own experience. So thank you for watching.